Now a typical work session for me is of course in my hand like this but in order to be able to film this properly I'm gonna set it down here and I always operate it pretty much always in portrait just like you see and a typical session will start with me firing up plume check up with my my Twitter peeps to see what's going on I love this program it works really well I can spin through it I can long press and get to the article that's linked in the tweet which will fire up Dolphin Browser HD which is my favorite browser which is always running in the background it lets me do all of the typical things page is still loading there it is it's done and I actually will spin through different uh, websites tech meme I got here and then of course our favorite mobile news ZDNet tech blog and anyway I can get back to Twitter let's say I want to send a tweet which I often do this is Swift key my favorite keyboard but I often like to do this Tweeting by voice on video. And it's the first thing here. And we just tweeted that, which will show up in blue. Let's move to the top. It should show up here somewhere. Maybe not. I can tweet anytime I want. I can check check my mentions which is just by swooping over there back to the tweets and then of course as I showed you I'll jump in the browser all the time I like Dolphin browser because I can do gestures which will take me back and forth I love that. If I want to go full screen, I just hit that button. And now the full 7 inch display, as you can see, is devoted to the web page, which is really nice. And I can still move around with gestures. Switch to the left tab. Switch to the left tab. I love Dolphin Browser. So I often use Thinking Space Pro, which is a mind manager tool to prepare for articles that I'm going to write like this one like for example if I have a thought that I want to think about battery life notice how swift key predictive text works so well and I'm in and out just that quickly and then another thing I often do is follow my Google Reader RSS feeds using G Reader Pro and I can spin through these if I see an article of interest I can actually tap on it of course pinch and zoom see the full article and then notice how I can set a favorite if I want to come back to it or if I want to see it in the full browser I just hit that browser button and boom it's going to open up the, the full website in a tab in Dolphin Browser. So I can check that out. If I go back, I'm back in G Reader Pro and now it's going to disappear because it's I have it configured if it's if it's red, it disappears from view. And that works very well. Maybe I want to in this particular session I want to get into my gallery see some of the photos I took at the HP WebOS event which are all right here of course I can do all the typical gallery stuff there there's the full gallery or then if I go here I can see all of my folders of of media and really cool how it uses the tiltometer very very nicely done 
Maybe I want to listen to music. I can do that. I love these rock symphonies. These are two of my favorite genres of music. And then, of course, I could leave that playing in the background and go back, and then through the notification bar, I can just get back here without having to go back in the program. Now, Launcher Pro lets me look at my recently run programs very simply. I can get to my calendar app from the Samsung tab, or if I really want to do some heavy duty calendaring, task list management, I use Pocket Informant, which uh, works really well on the big screen. As you can see, everything works on the, the big 7 inch screen. So, FOIO handles tablets quite fine, in spite of what uh, Google may, may tell everybody. Now, this is the, uh, the tabs email program, and I like using it because it gives me this really nice view in landscape which lets me work just like my desktop app which is pretty darn cool and if I switch it around I get back to single screen display it's just a great great way to work with email and that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show. Just a typical work session. It, uh, it shows that the 7 inch screen and tablets in general are handled just fine by Froyo. No matter what Google or anyone else says. It, it really is. I get to my bookmarks there. It, it, it handles it just fine. And the tab in particular is a very nice go-to mobile device. It is usually always with me when I am away from my desk. So this has been James Kendrick with Mobile News Blog on ZDNet with a typical work session with the Samsung Galaxy Tab running Froyo.